Good uh, morning, YouTubers. My name is Nubia. I am in recovery. I am reading out of our daily bread devotional. 60 day introductory edition. Today is day number 39. No. Number 38. Today is num day 38. Sephaniah chapter 3. Verses 14 to 20. The Lord our God is with you. The mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Zephaniah 3.17 Our singing father. No one told me before my wife and I had children how important singing would be. My children are now six, eight, and ten, but all three have problems sleeping early on. Each night, my wife and I took turns rocking our little ones, praying they nod off quickly. I spent hundreds of hours rocking them desperately, crooning, crooning lullaby, lull, lullabies to hopefully speed up the process. But as I sang over our children night after night, something amazing happened. It deepened my bond of love and delight for them in ways I never I had never dreamed. Did you know scripture described our heavenly father singing over his children too? Just as I saw to th my children with song, so Zephaniah concludes with a portrait of our heavenly father singing over his people. He would take great delight in you. In his love, he will rejoice over you with singing. Much of Zephaniah's prophetic book warns of a coming time of coming time of judgment for those who rejected God. Yet that's not where it ends. Zephaniah concludes not with judgment but with description of God, with a description of God not only rescuing his people from all their suffering, but also tenderly loving and rejoicing over them with a song. Our God is not only a mighty warrior who saves and resonates and restores, but a loving Father who tenderly sings love, who tenderly sings songs of love over the, over us. Adam holds. Thanks, Adam. There is a song. Um, no, the mountains may be moving to the sea. I can hear my Father singing over me. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I don't know how it goes. I do know how it goes. I just don't remember it now. So I'm gonna put a link to that song in the comments of this video because um, it's a great song. I forgot. I forgot her name. Dang it. I'm sorry. Um, I hear it on A1 radio all the time. So. Yeah, if I'm in despair, if I'm lost, if I'm in a dark place, I can Im I, I, I remember this song and, and, and I can imagine my father singing over me, you know, and, and I can calm myself down. I can remember and I can go back into his bosom, you know, because that's where he wants me the most. That's where I'm safe. When have I felt God's tender care for me? When have I not? Yeah, the time I have not. But as soon as I remember, I feel it. So when have I felt God's tender care? Every time, every day, whenever I want to, whenever I need it. You know, I just reach for it with a thought. You know, how, how wonderful is that? That's a gift. That's our, that's the Holy Spirit. That's a gift. One of the many gifts of the Holy Spirit. Um, how does knowing He rejoices over you? How does knowing He rejoices over me? How does knowing, how does knowing He rejoices over me encourage me? How does it? Tremendously. Because I know that that's what he's there for. That, that's why he's, th there's no hidden agenda. That, that's what he's there for, to, you know, to encourage me. He 
Heavenly Father, please help me to embrace my te your tender love and hear the songs you sing. Amen. Yes, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And I hope you have a wonderful and blessed rest of your day. Many peace, much peace, <laughs> love, and blessings.